cups could be uh, it could be a financial partnership like a, a business partnership or it could be romantic partnerships or it could be friends family the two of emotions is that kind of Hello Gemini, welcome to your new moon and cancer reading. The new moon cycle goes from July 20th through August the 18th, August the 18th. What we're looking at really is we're looking at your second house. The second house is cash, properties, uh, you know, like cars, homes, that sort of thing, as well as money. Um, and it's also about your values, your values in life. So we're gonna take a brief look at this. All of your, all of your um, decks have already been pre-shuffled. We're just gonna be splitting the deck and we're gonna get right on into it. Welcome, welcome to all my new viewers and my um, returning viewers. Super happy to have you here. Very, very pleased to have you here. Thank you to all of you that have been ordering extended readings, personal readings, and donating to the channel. Wow, I can't hold these cards. My apologies, they're slippery. All right. We have the bull. Cancer just got this too, how funny. All right, I did shuffle. <laughs> I did shuffle. So there's some sort of sacrifice that's gonna have to be made over the next month. Some sort of sacrifice. You're gonna have to give something up, Gemini. All right, so we have the Queen of Voices, the Five of Materials, the Ace of Voices, the Two of Cups, the Two of Emotions, the Ten of Emotions, Ten of Emotions, and the Six of Inspiration. All right, let's go ahead and we'll take our little clarifiers. Clarifiers tend to be very accurate, so do not, if you are a tarot reader, I have heard from other tarot readers that have great accuracy with these as clarifiers, so please do not disregard the mini tarot at all, because they are amazing. All right, so Gemini, Gemini, let's start out with your overall energy here. We have energetic sovereignty absorbing what's not yours empathic starseed now although i am using the starseed deck the intention was for these to be for anyone not just starseeds not just light workers if you are one fantastic this is a message directly to you if you are not do not worry this does however speak to those of you that are empaths those of you that are absorbing the energy of other people and allowing other people's negativity, other people's situations weigh you down. It's time to release those. It's time to release all the stuff that you are carrying from other people. So Gemini, this is especially to my hippie chick friend. <laughs> you know who you are, I'm referring to you that way. Do not absorb the energy of other people. <laughs> don't know why I felt I had to like make that directly to you but you know who you are do not absorb the energy of other people release it <laughs> release it release it um, you may actually just be dis discovering for some of you Gemini's you may just be discovering that you have this ability to feel other people's feelings and if that's the case it's important for you to ground yourself and not take on what other people are dealing with now we do have this sense of sacrifice here with regards to the second house. There may be a financial hit that you um, take on this over this next new moon cycle as a result of, of you know the, these energies that could involve a very large expense to your vehicle, to your home, something of that nature. Please set some money aside, very, very important. Now what you released, I love this. Oh my goodness, how utterly beautiful. 
So when I'm looking at the imagery of the Queen of Voices, which is our Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is about getting to the bottom of a situation, but there's all these Corvids and I'm, and I'm drawn to Corvids. I love Corvids, y'all know this. I love my Ravens. I love my Ravens, especially Kylo Ren at the Raptor Center. But this particular card of crows is like squawking, you know, gang mentality. So if anybody has been a little bit bullyish to you, you're done. You're walking away from that. If anybody has lied to you or been deceptive of you in the past, you have gotten rid of that energy. You've said, I am not taking on anybody who is lying, deceptive, cheating, etc. You're done. You're moving on. Good job, babies. Good job, Gemini. Proud of you. Now, your current energy, not so great. Not so great, babes. So we've got this five of materials. This is feeling a little bit trapped, feeling stuck, feeling unable to get up in the morning, feeling just an overall, and it might be because you're carrying other people's energy. Other people's energy may be preventing you from really living your life and enjoying your day, right? But we have this eight of wands. So some sort of incoming communication may have come in that's caused this weighty sense of feeling an, an overwhelming energy, an overwhelming sense of disconnection between you and another person, perhaps. But what's coming up in the very new, near future for you, Gemini, some, some very important wisdom, it's like birds. I'm really focused on birds for you. Do you have a thing for birds? been out of balance in the past all right that's fine some sort of communication comes in and illuminates everything spiritual wisdom some sort of wisdom is on its way in for you this is beautiful now where are you growing over the next month you're growing over your ability to connect with others so two two of cups could be uh, it could be a financial partnership, like a, a business partnership, or it could be romantic partnerships, or it could be friends, family. The two of emotions is that connection between you and other people. And we have the hermit here, deciding what you will allow in your life. So this is where the growth is. You putting up boundaries between yourself and people who aren't treating you right, causing this sense of pain, causing this sense of overwhelm you recognizing what it is that you want from a love relationship what it is that you want from your family relationships what it is that you want from your friendship relationships your business partnerships all of those things they come from releasing these past energies this energy of feeling disconnected important communication it's amazing growth there for you, Gemini. It's hard to put up boundaries. It really is, especially if you're empathic. Now, how you can make your dreams come true over this next month. I love this. Ten of Cups, Ace of Swords. One, take the wisdom that you're learning here, the spiritual wisdom, this communication that comes in. Take that communication, the communication that came in to make you feel the sense of disconnection, Take all that communication in, discover what it is that will make you extremely happy moving forward as a result of this communication and pour your heart and energy into materializing something beautiful. Something beautiful with regards to your second house, cash, property, and values. Values is where we're seeing the growth. Sacred geometry might be important. Connecting with family and friends may also be a way of achieving greatness in your life. Now, the resources at your disposal. We have several people who admire you, Gemini, with the six of inspiration. Several people that admire you. And in the second house, they see your value. They see not only your values, they see what you have done in your life. They see the sacrifices you've made. They see what you've done to remove this, this energy and they admire you for it. You're being held in high regard. You might be worried about what these people think of you, but they admire you. 
This could be friends, this could be family. There's admiration. Absolutely beautiful, Gemini. Um, Gemini, in the extended, let's find out what this is here. It's a little bit concerning to me. Let's also take a look at, you know, what's coming with regards to connections. And also, let's see why you're feeling a sense of, um, why you're not recognizing how, value, how valued you are to the people in your life. All right, so let's take a look at that in the extended, if that's of interest to you. Extended preview is coming up. Love and light to you. Wishing you well. See you soon. Let's take a look first at this difficult energy that you are experiencing with that five of coins, five of materials. Communication that came in made you feel left out. Left out in the cold. Ace of Swords, now that's beautiful communication that comes in and brings you peace. Peace, Gemini. Something good's gonna happen out of this. It may feel like you can't get up in the morning. It may feel like you don't have the energy to carry on, but by golly, you got some. Here's that Ace of Swords. It's saying, look, you got something coming in. Something's gonna bring peace. Something's gonna bring happiness. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Subscribing allows me to connect to your energy for future readings. And I love to be able to connect with you energetically. So don't forget to hit that button. Also, please share these with your friends and family. You never know who might be in need of the message that you just heard. Have an absolutely beautiful day. Thumbs up.